<laughs> Turn around, reverse, and get some every time. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today we're going to get into a little TMI, explicit, a little dabble into, you know, a little woman life, okay? Before we even get started, please, 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 no, this is a judge-free zone, baby, okay? <laughs> Anything that I answer or, you know, try to relate to different types of scenarios that happen to me in my life, don't act like it hasn't happened to you, sweetie. Okay, do not act like it hasn't happened to you. If it didn't happen to you, it happened to your mama. Okay. And don't judge anything that is asked or, you know, that I answer in this Q&A. I really just wanted to make this Q&A because there's not a lot of girls that, you know, can turn to somebody and ask them a question and not feel embarrassed or judged. I'm here to tell you right now. I do not care if you judge me. It is what it is. I'm a girl's girl. I want to talk about it. I want to be the resource for the girls out there that just don't have resources to go to to get answers to these types of questions. You know what I mean? I just wanted to say that before we get started. This is a judge-free zone. So keep those little opinions to yourself. We're just going to hop right into it. Y'all asked me a whole bunch of questions. There's, there's a lot. Let me go to the archives, baby. And make sure you follow me on Instagram so if you're new here, you can participate in the next Q&A. And let me know of what content y'all wanna see in 2022. Have you tried a Diva Reading Cup, a Diva Cup, or the new overnight disposable panty? First, I started off using pads when it came to my menstrual cycle. And then I grew up and was like, okay, I'm, I don't want nothing sitting right there for a couple hours. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, let's upgrade to the tampon. So fast forward to last year, I had a sponsorship with a brand called Nixit. And I have the little wipe right here because I have it in right now. So basically it's just this little circle cup and you just put it in, you know, your home girl. And you just push it up there and I posted it on my Instagram. They're like, oh my God, how do you like get it out? I literally just grab it with my finger and I don't even feel it. I just grab it with my nail and just pull it out. Doesn't give me any complications. I don't leak, I don't feel it. And it also helps with cramps. I really don't have any cramps ever since I used it. And also it allows me to um, have a short period time. The pads and stuff carry chemicals in them. So when I was introduced to Nixit, I was like, oh my God, I love this. And it's not for everybody, but I personally like it. And I'm never changing to anybody else because at first I'm like, how am I gonna get this there? Like, <laughs> I was really confused. <laughs> Somebody asked, are you more of a giver or a receiver? I'm a more, I like, I'm a people pleaser. If you did not notice, I really take people's feelings into consideration. I, you know, I'm a Pisces or whatever. So it's, it's about 50, 50, but the giving, I guess is like, mm, it's a little more of a 60, 40. <laughs> That's just me though. That's just me though. But if you're not giving me nothing, then no. Absolutely not. No. Mm -mm. No. I'm going home. <laughs> Somebody asks aftercare for after doing a nasty. So I would basically, after I get done doing what I'm, you know, um, I go to the bathroom and I get a washcloth and I just run it under hot, hot water. But first, I usually normally have to go to the bathroom. So I usually take that a little little sprinkle in the toilet just wipe myself um so yeah just normal i don't do i don't use his hand soap um on his sink or whatever i seen this tiktok when it was like we're about to get it on and he smells his hand soap on your 
you know. I was dying laughing because I used to do that when I was like 18. I would go in the bathroom first and like make sure I'm like good down there. And it would be like that normal like hand soap that you would use at school. And that has a potent smell to it. Like you can, you can tell when somebody got that soap on their hands. And girl, never. I would never do that ever again. Because, you know, I stay fresh and clean always. Gotta stay on point. Especially what I know is gonna happen. And it ain't happening unless I don't want it to. Best eggplant you had was from what zodiac sign? <sighs> Girl, a Taurus. A Taurus, okay. Any tips for hyperpigmentation on the bikini area? So a brightening that I do recommend for the bikini area on your homegirl is the Vanish PFB plus Chroma Bright Skin Brightening. Y'all, this is a game changer and I use it on my armpits as well. I remember I posted a TikTok in my armpits. They were like, oh my God, how do you get your armpits so light? Girl, this. I'll link everything down below that I'm talking about, the products that I mentioned in this video. And it helps with waxing, razor bumps, ingrown hairs, and it's skin, and it brightens that, you know, area. Just a little ball like this, and then you just go ahead and put it all over, you know, the bikini area. And it doesn't burn or sting. If you have like a fresh wax or whatever, it will sting a little bit. But other than that, after that, it doesn't. So, highly recommend. Do you believe in spraying vaginal perfume to keep fresh or just let Miss Kitty be natural? Let Miss Kitty be natural. I'm really high on not putting any chemicals down there, anything that's gonna imbalance my pH, absolutely not. I'm very careful when it comes to that because no, like mm -mm, absolutely not. Keep it natural. Do not spray nothing up down there. Don't spray no perfume. Don't try and put deodorant down there. Cause dudes do that, you can't do that. Like, I mean, you could put it on like the hair part, but please let that be away from them lips, okay? Your go-to product for your sneaky link. I'm about to go on a date or something. I know it's finna happen. I know like, okay, I'm like, be finna get, you know, tipsy. I'm finna be feeling it. I'm finna, you know, you know, go there. I make sure like I'm freshly waxed. I'm shaved. My skin is very hydrated. My skin is soft. I like really like to make sure my skin is soft, especially when it comes to like my legs and stuff because they definitely take notice into that because that's the first thing they touch. You know what I'm saying? That's literally the first thing they touch. They like too touchy-feely on the legs. They not going for the arms, sis. They going for the legs, okay? So I make sure that my legs are, you know, very smooth and soft, smooth and soft for sure and like glowing. Maybe one day I'll do a uh, get ready with me for the appointment. <laughs> like the full blown. How do you initiate, you know, without coming off too strong. Well, it depends on the situation. It really depends on the situation on what we're doing because if we out having drinks, having a good time, just vibing, it's definitely going out. If y'all at home chilling and just chilling on the couch and you know that you wanna like start doing something, you know you starting to feel yourself without no liquor or nothing, you just, you know, you just automatically like, sometimes like, you know, get that little hit of like the H word, okay? And you just like, ugh, I want it now. The ear is the go-to, the ear, the ear. Or, girl, like, <laughs> my secret weapon, turning a guy on the finger. The finger, baby. <laughs> the finger, the finger. The finger, it's just, it gets him. But yeah, girl, it's the finger. And when you like having like a cute little date night in with your man, y'all probably cooking or something, just grab his hand and, you know, ah, and do it slow and sexy or whatever. And then also, I really do like getting giving hand massages. I just, you know, when you at the nail salon, those feel good. So after, like, when I was like, mm, like 20 or something, I'm like, let me get this nigga a hand massage. And I just do it all the time ever since. And then if we chilling, I'm just like, eh. But I make sure, like, before you even come in my house, baby, you gotta stop at the sink and wash your hands, okay? So, the fingers are always clean. So make sure he washes his hands. Cause you know, dudes always dealing with money and just counting it up and they fingers just be dirty and nasty and just, 
make sure they clean first. That's the number one rule to that. Make sure the hands are clean, okay? Your go-to move in bed, and yeah, I got them with this one. <laughs> Y'all really wanna know what's my go-to move in a bedroom? A lady never tells. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> that new song, and I'ma ride you like a rodeo. But rewind, 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 little reverse, turn around, turn around, <laughs> turn around, reverse, get get some every time. <laughs> Sensational. Give him that. Give him that good view, okay? And give him that good view. Have you ever faked an orgasm and felt bad after dead face emoji? Um, yes I have. And no, I did not feel bad. Why would I feel bad? Especially if he paying the bills. I'm gonna act the f that. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not gonna feel bad, okay? As long as the bills are paid. <laughs> yeah, 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 daddy. You look like mommy, baby. So somebody asked, how do you politely ask your man to go down on you? We're both new to this, and I think since he doesn't really know how to do it, it doesn't want to try again. Um. So what I would say is, let's just have some fun. Let's let's watch a movie, a certain type of movie. So we can get some lessons on what you <laughs> need to work on. Pleasing your partner is something that is grown people-ish. You know what I'm saying? It's very grown. A young dude wouldn't care. You know what I'm saying? But a grown man who really is in love and really wants to please you and, you know, really want to, you know, explore your body in every way possible and... You know, he's gonna do whatever it takes to, you know, get you, you know. Mm. If you really like this person, you would overlook that. That little, small, incy minty thing that he can't, you know, please you or whatever. So, it's really not that big of a deal, to be honest. But if it's really a big deal to you and you really feel like you want him to, you know, little, you know, you want to play with Yeah. Then I would definitely, like, you know, have, like, a polite talk. And be like, hey, let's watch a movie. Oh, that looks good. A lot of people are asking, there's frequent questions on how to keep homegirl fresh, how to have her smelling good, how to keep my pH balanced. And a lot of people are asking about BV and stuff like that, UTIs. I've never had a UTI, but I have had BV. No STDs though, okay? So, yes, I have had BV before, and sometimes it wasn't even because I was sexually active which is crazy like i wasn't even sexually active for like um from 2019 to like mid 2020 2020 yeah 2020 2019 to 2020 i was not having intercourse at all i'm not even doing a nasty i don't even have anybody so i want this taken out of me but i will frequently get BV and I'm like why is this happening to me so I will always have to go to the doctor and get those pills for seven days and they're not long da, 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 you know and I'm like why does this keep happening so I'm like ma that was freaky y'all I had to take a little break because that literally scared me so I would frequently get BV. I wasn't even sexually active, like no intercourse, no nothing. I was looking up everything that could imbalance your pH, saying like tight underwear, certain products or whatever. The doctor just wasn't suggest anything to me. So I'm like, there has to be a solution to this. There's no way that I am gonna have to keep going to the doctor and getting medication for this. I was not, mm -mm, no. That was, that's one thing I don't play about is thank homegirl okay she is never gonna stink okay i don't like stinking i don't like smelling like you know the sea i just can't take it i can smell myself like i can smell myself and if you walking around like that 
and you smell yourself, this is why I'm here, baby. Okay, this is why I'm here to tell you, go get this product now. This is boric acid. These are boric acid pills. Supports odor control, promotes vaginal balance. This is good for your vagina, okay? And these are the applicators, fresh little pack. I haven't really been using them because I really don't need them when you need it. PRN, I think that's the initial because I was in medical um, um, terminology. But uh, <laughs> this is what I use, girl, boric acid pills. I highly recommend these. All you need to do is take the pill. It's like literally a pill. Little pill like you would swallow it but you don't swallow it homegirl swallows it not you so the applicator looks like this it's like a little straw or whatever so basically you put the pill right there on the top and then you just pull back and then push it all the way up in there you will use that for seven days if you are experienced any vaginal odor and if it doesn't get better after the seven days girl goes to the doctor because it's not just bb okay or it's not something that you know it's just a imbalanced ph you know and i do go to annual exams for pap smears and stuff like that for std so make sure you are getting checked up on those because those are very important you need to stay on top of that but yeah, boric acid pills are a game changer. I will know when something imbalances her. And BB is normal. Um, I know it's hard to talk about with other people because it's like a gooch name. It's just bacteria. Because half of the time, you don't have BB for no reason. It's because he doing something he not supposed to be doing. Ugh, it's just so bad out here. Please be safe out here because you just never know what is going on. Invest in Bork Acid Pills. Like I said, y'all, everything will be linked down below. I'm going to add this to my Amazon store. And this is nothing to be ashamed about. Um, we just keeping the homegirl fresh and healthy and balanced. So somebody asked, should we ladies be dating and having protective the nasty? No relationships, just having fun. Absolutely. Let's make sure you use protection what do you do to keep your homegirl looking pretty like you do you get badge badge facials i got a badge facial one time it was like a jelly mask and i liked it it really left my homegirl really nice smooth soft and you know i was really feeling it and it didn't imbalance my ph or nothing because it's literally just the top part i really liked it it was nice i really appreciated her a lot of y'all are asking about backdoor so listen, I don't do that. The most thing I ever do was what future, what future say? I'ma put my thumb in a butt. I would never do that. If you do it, teach his own, sit your own seat, baby, okay? And I'm not judging you. No, I'm not doing that at all, period. No, 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 no. So don't ask me. And if you're asking me, I'm gonna be like, why are you here? I don't think you like me. Somebody asked me, have I ever cheated? Um, I only, you know, stepped out or whatever is when I found out, you know, a nigga just always doing something. But I stepped out or whatever when I found out this person was talking to the same girl multiple times over and over. But it wasn't like I was going outside all the time it was just i already knew this person and you know we got along really well but we never like you know took it there i would just as far as like the cheating i would talk to them as a comfort because this dude over here ain't doing what he's supposed to be doing so i'm gonna go over here have a little conversation try to get my mind off it you know we wasn't doing nothing we was just talking chilling with me and him like finally for real for real, broke it off then I went that way. <laughs> so yeah, um, I cheated. As guess as I really don't consider it cheating because I didn't really have intercourse. Now this dude was doing whatever he wanted to do, so why can't I? He got caught. I'm about to go do my own thing then. So somebody asks, what's a nice way to tell your friend to stop being a hoe? I'm gonna let them like as your friend you should just be a supportive friend period you shouldn't judge her and if you have a problem with her being you know uh, HOE why do you want to be friends with her then 
if that's a problem for you. I don't think it should be a problem for you because that's her business. And if she wants to go do that, let her go do it. People should be able to do what they want to do without having anybody judge them, especially their friend. Okay, so a lot of y'all are asking, do I use Honey Pop? No, I don't, because I had a very bad reaction to it. It imbalanced my pH, girl, and no, I would never, you know, mm -mm. I just can't, my, like I told y'all before, my homegirl is very sensitive. So what I use is I'll use a hot rag, put it under hot water, and I'll just use some Dove soap, and that's about it. Not even going in there, it just goes around there. But on my actual like homegirl, um, I'll only use hot water and that's it. Um, so when I really want to get my homegirl like clean, clean, like clean, clean, like like a just a water douche. Like this is the water coming down, and then this is my body, and this is like me. So <laughs> this is me. So I'm just spreading, you know, open, and I just let her get clean. How many times a day should the badge be washed? Twice, for sure. Morning and at night. And I also don't use tissue. I use baby wipes when I use the bath. Somebody said a fave position. CEO, baby. No, I'm just playing. And I'm gonna ride you like a rodeo. Hey. Do you have a probiotic? probiotic in your daily vitamin regimen? If so, which one do you use? Yes, I use the one by Hum. Um, let me go grab it. Well, these are my probiotics that I use. These are the Hum Private Party Supports Vaginal and Urinary Tract Health. I really love Hum Vitamins. Um, I take their daily cleanse, which helps the skin as well. So, yeah, if you're not new here, you already know. He asks, how do you feel about doing the nasty on the first day? I did it recently, and I don't know how to feel. I feel like... Uh, have I done that before? No. <laughs> but I feel like if the vibes are good and y'all just been talking for a while and y'all just recently got up with each other, it's no judging. Like, if it happens, it happens. You know, go with the vibes. Go with the flow. You only live once. Just make sure you use protection. You cannot slip up on that. That is, no, you can't slip up. And some of these couples out here will have stories where they, you know, did it on the first day and, you know, they're happily married. Like, you just never know. Like I said, just go with the vibes. Don't feel bad about it at all. Somebody asked, how can I keep it spicy in the bedroom with my boyfriend? I don't want him to get bored. Um, I would definitely take it outside the bedroom. Do it wherever you feel. Just be spontaneous with it. The most embarrassing experience if this video gets to 10,000 likes I will share that experience in the next one <laughs> because it's just too I don't know it's just too much somebody asked have you ever ate cat do you like it no I haven't I have not had any experience with another girl at all thoughts on threesome while in a relationship i feel like i would be scared to do it i'm not gonna lie i i mean if i really trust my partner that he ain't going you know do something without me then i don't know maybe 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 but as of right now I don't think I would be comfortable enough to do that. So it's just so much stuff going on and I'm not trying to hook up with no random girl um, for one night just for some spontaneous thing. I have to like know this person maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But I have to know their status. Like I gotta know their status like, cause mm -mm. A lot of y'all are asking me like what's my um, D appointment must have. So I think I'm gonna do a D appointment get ready with me so like a whole detailed video on how i get prepared when i know it's gonna happen um, and it's definitely routine because i definitely want to you know smell good and feel nice sexy somebody is asking have i ever used a uh, a toy and honestly y'all no i never use a toy ever ever but i've heard it it's it gets crazy 
how long should you wait to give the homegirl up again it really depends on the vibes because you could be feeling this person he could be putting in so much effort and you know you can hold out for however long you want to like i said it really depends on the vibes because you're not gonna give it up already to somebody who isn't doing anything for you or isn't showing any effort or isn't you know making it clear that they want to you know be with you but sometimes some things don't even be that serious and if you feel like you want to just you know get it on with that nigga, get it on with him you know like i said it's just the vibes i would definitely just go out vibes because i'm an energy person but if i feel like you putting in so much effort and you know we've been talking for a little minute then yeah maybe 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 baby okay would you move in with a man before he puts a ring on it i'm confused right now absolutely because what if you marry this person and move in with them and you don't like how they live because some dudes just be so nasty and it's just not something i want to tolerate okay so the last question to stop this video um somebody asked where was the craziest twist i ever like done it and we was just shopping he was taking me shopping actually he was spoiling me y'all he was paying my bills and everything so i'm like okay let me let me just do something spontaneous I, um i forgot how it went to fitting room <laughs> and yeah it didn't last long so but yeah that was it was a long time ago never again though i would never do it in anywhere that damn public so anyways y'all that wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed do not forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on instagram and i am gonna put together a final giveaway so if you are um made it this far in the video just know that a huge giveaway is coming and i can't wait to show y'all what it is i'm just putting together um what is going to be inside and then i'm going to have rules and stuff so yeah that's probably gonna be the last giveaway for a little minute because i really been giving to y'all but i appreciate y'all so much like always so so yeah girl that is it and i will see y'all in the next one bye <laughs>